Okay, so today we're going to be fixing up this file for Larry. Uh, I'm using uh, VCarve Pro, the latest version, 10. And here's what we got here. This is uh, right here what he wants it to look like. I'm going to do raised letters down here. The white stripes will be carved, as well as the stars and the 87 here will be carved. All right, let's get to it. So this flag he's got here, it's got a little few few issues with it. Got a couple gaps, in the stripes, a couple of the stripes are uneven here. So uh, we're just gonna take this out and use a different flag file for the background there. First, we're going to take the uh, letters here and the 87. We'll put these on a new layer. I'm holding the shift key down and selecting all these vectors. All right, right click. And if you do copy to layer, we'll do a new layer. We'll just mark it down as letters and put it as not visible okay he's got multiple layers here see we delete these okay Go back to our letters. Okay, they're still there. He just had two overlapping layers of the same same letters. Okay, we take this flag here now. We get the approximate size of this flag here. You select the whole thing. Down at the bottom, you can see the width and the height. About 17 and a half wide 9.2 tall so let's delete this and then we're going to import vectors import this American flag that I created here all right now we just got to scale it down so if you go to your scale tool to this one right here and then we want 17.5 width. Apply that. Okay. Now if you click this align center to your job here, this will align the flag perfectly center in your job space. Now we can put our letters back and delete this layer and then we move that to American flag okay so now we got our flag back this one's a lot cleaner gives us a good start here now he's got these letters grouped so we're going to ungroup these you can right click and ungroup or you can just click and type the letter U that's a shortcut to ungroup. Click U, ungroup. That's ungrouped. Okay. Now we want to get rid of these stars in the middle here. These will be overlapped by the 87. So we'll select the, all these stars here. Just hold down the shift key and select all the ones underneath the 87 and this one I'm going to leave these ones that are outside because I'll just trim those so we got all these and click delete on the keyboard that takes care of those now if you select all these stars that are overlapping I'll leave this one 
Okay, now first you select the stars, then after you select this outline, select that last. Now come over here and click this subtract tool. Now that get that gets rid of that and it'll cut these vectors, these stars here, right to the outline. Now if you don't like that look, you can just delete these stars as well. But if you look at our uh, preview here that he sent me, he's got them cut, outlining the 87 shape. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing down here with the stripes. So to do this, you just select these three stripes that intersect with the letters here. Now, since these are these are separated here. So before we do this, we're gonna have to first group these. So select this outline, this outline, and this, and select all those. Now you can group these. You can right click and click group objects, or you can also click the letter G on the keyboard for shortcut. Okay, now that's all grouped together. Now if you select one of it, it selects all of it. Okay, now take these three stripes that intersect and then select this grouping last. Click the same button over here, subtract. Now that leaves these letters perfectly outlined and it cuts the stripes. Now that pretty much takes care of all the vector work. Now we can do some tool pass. Okay, so we're gonna have to v-carve all these, all the union up here is gonna be v-carved, as well as all of this, the white stripes which would be in this area here, all this area here. So really to do this all, you can select the whole flag, go into V-carve. Now, since we have so much space in between here, we're gonna wanna do a flat depth. So I generally do a flat depth of 0.8 or sorry, 0 0.08 inches. And my tool I usually use is a 60 degree V-bit. And then we're gonna need an end mill to clear the bulk of this space. So this is pretty big space, so we use a quarter inch end mill. So I'll remove this one, select, and we'll go to quarter inch and select. Now my 60 degree bits are already selected. Now for this toolpath I usually use a offset um, direction here. Okay and you can come down here click calculate. Okay now it's giving us an error here. There's 10 duplicate vectors and so if we click Cancel this. Now let's we'll find those duplicate vectors. If you right click, selection, select all duplicate vectors. Okay, so it looks like this is all been uh, double layered here. So they're all selected. Now just click delete. Now try that again. Now it says no du duplicate vectors. So we're good. You can also do the same thing, select all open vectors, no open vectors, that's good. Okay, now we can try this again, select all, click calculate, and you can change the preview to any type of wood you would like. I usually select medium wood, it's like a general looking wood there. And then I usually 
global fill. This will fill all the toolpaths the same color. I usually just do black. Now you could do preview all toolpaths. And that'll preview this first one here is the clearance toolpath. Second toolpath would be the V carve with the 60 degree V bit. So click preview all. And just give it a minute and it'll show you the preview. Okay, and that's pretty much it there. I got a uh, 87 is V carved, all the stars, stripe, the white stripes, and around the lettering. You can rotate this, see different views. Do uh, up here in the right. Click Z, do ortho mode. You can also change colors if you want to preview it different colors. And let's check out our toolpath here. All right, looks like pretty much what he was after. Alright, that concludes this video. I hope you liked it.